Hey guys, it's your girl ZJ with a new video game playthrough. Today I'm gonna do Nancy Drew and the Deadly Device. I chose to do a playthrough of this game um, in particular because um, it's basically inspired by everything that I enjoy doing and um, learning about, which is science and all sub science disciplines and fields, such as engineering and physics and, you know, math, neuroscience, engineering, electrical engineering, all of the subfields. This really is probably, um, a game that's more like specifically focused on the Tesla coil um, developed or um, designed and created by um, Nikola Tesla and so um, that is super cool obviously so I am going to do a playthrough of Nancy Drew the deadly device today and um, just a FYI I am a big fan of Arco Flum's channel who um, is extremely and widely popular amongst the Nancy Drew uh, gamer um, video game community on YouTube. Um, he is also doing walkthroughs and stuff and he is listed on my channel as you guys know as um, one of my favorites so um, check his video blog out as well if you love Nancy Drew games. So let's go ahead and start a new game as amateur sleuth. I probably won't be doing another one of these games unless I have to do with science. So, just to FYI, I hope I finish this. Nancy, you made it. Good. You couldn't tell me much earlier. What's the story? You'll find all the information in Nico's desk drawer. The combination is 171943. Got it. I'll need full access to the lab and a cover. For the cover, say you're doing due diligence for a new investor. I'll back you up if anyone asks. But full access to the lab? No. It's too dangerous. If I can't investigate everything, I might have a problem on my hands. All right. I'll have Ellie set up a demo for you. But that's it. The equipment in this lab is extremely dangerous. No kidding. Got it. Approach the case how you want, but I think I know where you should start. Ryan, the police really thought she might be behind Nico's murder. They just couldn't prove it. She built the machine that killed him, and supposedly she threatened him. Start there. I've got to leave the office. If you need me, I'll be on my phone. Good luck. Stay safe. And please, help me do right by Nico. He was a brilliant scientist and a good man. So, Nico Jovic. He is our victim. And um, it goes without saying, in this game, Nancy Drew is at risk at every turning corner of this facility. I mean, it's extremely dangerous. I mean, they have a freaking Tesla coil and the lab and yeah, so I won't be surprised if there's a uh, many different um, death um, sequences that I can trigger. So I'm in his office. I don't know what this thing is. It looks pretty neat. I'm sure it has to do with electricity, obviously. But um, I guess uh, we'll find out more another time. Let's turn to the left. 
some books. I can't really make out what that portrait is. I think that's um Tesla. I can't really see. Um, there's a gear bookend, which is really awesome. I wouldn't be surprised if they sold something like that on eBay. A lock um, cabinet. More pictures of Nicola. And let's turn to the side. It looks like it's missing the opening mechanism. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. So I guess this. <laughs> I don't know. I can't imagine what goes in there. Probably some crazy device. Um, and there's nothing but candy in there. I mean, that's a little elaborate for a a, a candy or treat cabinet thingy. Okay, we went over there. Check this out. Neat. Nice little mechanical pigeon. That'd be pretty neat if it uh, did some stuff for us later. I need to find a way to fix this. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Well, hmm. how do you know it's broken? I mean, I didn't press any on or off button. Looks like some sort of video conferencing. This must be the drawer where Victor put the case file. Oh yes, right. The case file is in this drawer, and the code is one seven one nine four three. And Nancy, here are the notes from the police investigation. Keep the contents of the file to yourself. Do not remove from Nico's office. And if anyone ever found this or caught this on you, then your cover will be blown, obviously. Victor, who was the guy we spoke to earlier. Um, let's see. Nico Jovic, that is our victim, PhD, theoretical physicist, and co-owner of Technology of Tomorrow Today, the facility we're in. His body was discovered in the Tesla coil lab by Ellie York. Ellie York is his research assistant who works night shift. On, um, she was on site at the time of death. Obviously, she called 911 and left town the following evening. That's suspicious. So, um, Nico's body was removed from the coroner. He died at 12:30 a.m. Body removed from the coroner. Cause of death was confirmed as electrocution by. High voltage discharge of the Tesla coil. Cold way to die. Now, a little background is that he's a claim genius in his field. Aren't they all? Known to have poor social skills, perceived as unfriendly or uncaring, even um, antagonistic or not agnostic, um, and antagonistic by coworkers, never married, no immediate family living. Well, um, yeah, newsflash, um, I speak probably for a lot of nerds and geeks and brilliant minds and beautiful minds and um, people who are really into, well, extremely, extremely into, you know, their chosen field or whatever. Um, yeah, they tend to already, they tend to have those features. I mean, those are characteristics like OCD, personality disorders. I mean, I know I have a little bit of that myself. I mean, all sorts of things that's going on in the brain. I mean, you know, antisocial. Some people are borderline, um, you know, Asperger's. I don't know. So that's pretty common. Um, oops. I mean, it's not common, common, but it's not really surprising for people like him, you know? Um, so, Ellie is one of his research assistants. She works a day shift. Mason is his other research assistant. Oh, Ellie works a night shift. Mason works a day shift. Mason was questioned, and he claims to have been on a date at the time of death, 12 in the morning. 
but according to his date, they had parted ways at by 10.30 p.m. Dislike of victim evident during questioning. Okay, highly suspicious. Lab access is restricted to employees only by secure key card entry. So you need a key card to get in to the lab. Then there's Ryan, who is our main suspect. She is the technical engineer. She works stations. She said she had been driving back to the lab from Colorado Springs at the time of death, so around midnight. She said uh, she appeared distraught. She was evasive and nervous during questioning. She built the machine that killed the victim. Hmm. She seems suspicious, but it's just like, you know, very vague. Um, I would say the a research assistant seemed more suspicious. Then there's Greg Courtright, head of security, who works the night shift, on site at time of death, taciturn and unfriendly towards police, refused to speak of his relationship with the victim. Coworkers seemed uncertain as to how he has continued to keep his position, probably because he's a looks like a big, mean, angry, long-time working dude who is. You know, people don't want to deal with people like that. <laughs> just like, fine, just let them, just, just let them be there. You know, one of those people that you just can't let go. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm a little surprised that he didn't catch the murderer because he's head of security. Then there's Victor, who's our guy who uh, who brought us in to investigate. Basically, he is the business and financial decision. He's one of the owners, you know, more CEO-ish. Um, his alibi was that he was working alone in an off-site office at the time of death. At 12.30 in the morning. I don't understand. Why is everybody, like, up and out at 12.30 in the morning? Suspect's questioning failed to provide an ironclad alibi for any employee. Of course not. Key card log indicate another entry shortly before the victim's death, okay, but the security video um, titled LBTY510258 obtained from head of security, Gray, showed no one entering the lab, at least not from the time of the victim's entrance until after his death. The key card used to enter the lab after the victim has not been recovered from premises and does not match any keycard ID in the log. It is believed a power surge occurred on site as a result of coil tests being run shortly before the victim's death, causing a glitch in the log system. How convenient. So the police think it's Ryan, and um, they interrogated her, but they released her because they didn't have enough evidence, but they still think she did it. The case is open, unsolved, um, crime scene, decontaminated. <laughs> Personal belongings of Nico recovered as evidence, including files and experiment notes. Shall remain in police possession for further... <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to get that. I don't know how, but we will have to. Cool. So, now that we've seen all that... Oh, look at these cool... These nice little photos of Nico. Or not Nico, but Nikola Tesla. I really hope Nico, yeah, Nico looked a little too young to be the Tesla, because I'm like, I don't know if Nicola, I don't think Nicola's middle name was Jovic. If it was, I am very embarrassed and I bring shame to all those in the scientific community. Let's go out here and take a look-see. There is a button. Ooh. Ooh, it's big and red. I want to, I want to press it. I want to press it. But I won't. Um, warning. Do not enter. Okay, I will not. <laughs> Trying to avoid... What the heck? Hello, Nancy. I forgot to tell you. We've been having a lot of outages lately. 
Funny you mention that. I think you're having one right now. It's nothing to worry no, about. No, we are we having one right now, system. Nancy. Most of the time, Gray can get things back online in an hour. Occasionally, it takes a while, but rarely does it come close to the critical window. Critical window? Some of the equipment can get unruly when the power supply isn't consistent. Don't worry about it, though. Take the time to get settled. Catch up on sleep. All right. Gotta run. Uh, okay, that's a little dangerous. Um, so, yeah. Let's hope that power comes back on. Okay, what's that? I don't know. Can't turn around, so. Ugh, come on! Oh my god. Oh, my toe! Okay, so she's. Yeah. She's just. Dang. Ugh. She's walking into all sorts of things. Okay. So we made it. So let's just go to bed before something bad happens. Sleepy time. This was not what I expected when I set I the alarm. Too soon. Oh no. I wanted to investigate. Reduce stress. Bang head here. Ooh. That's awesome. Let's go to the restroom because I want to buy for time. I don't feel like dealing with a dangerous situation. Way right. too many pictures like, of so Tesla soon. in here. Way too many pictures of Tesla, yeah. I bet there's hecka pictures of Tesla. In the uh, Nico's office. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, cool. Saturn. Um. Oh, that sounds getting really annoying now, but I really want to. I need to find the power knob before I can use it. I wasn't trying to use it, I just wanted to hmm. know. Hmm. Cereal. Really creepy cereal. That's crazy. Uh, Michael's out of order. Jeez. Look at that facility with like all sorts of power stuff going on and... Oh, well you know, they, that probably breaks the circuit. Or trips the circuit. Happened in the microwave. Hmm. Something hmm. goes here. Stop the madness. Prevent office supply kidnapping. Books. Oh, nice, yummy, yummy science books. The uh, fatal experiment, greenhouses, sparks alive, short stories for tired eyes. Mm, Marconi's trans transatlantic quest, the collected works of Sally, I think. Mark Twain, Mind of a Matter. A whole bunch of cool. Up here. Optical illusion, the Alms Law and Circuit Analysis, um, Between the Line, Fact of Fiction, Search for Truth and Justice, awesome, Tesla, and this is a lot of pictures of Tesla, a video game, but I'm not gonna play it because I don't wanna. Wait a minute, where am I? Okay, I wanna... No, I've already been here. Alright. Alright, you guys. Let's get out of here. Oh, wait. <laughs> Wrong way. Okay, now let's get out of here. You, come with me. Oh. What's going on? No chit-chat. Come. Now. Okay, apparently I'm a dog. You need to get the system shut down before the grid goes critical. Get all those switches powered off. I'll do the rest. Excuse me? He, like, talked to me like a dog. Come. Now. Okay, I have to turn these switches off. High power, low power, off. Okay, I have to get all the power off. Because we don't want to use... We want it off. Okay. Um, 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 um. Alright. So... Just turn off the switches. Oh, crap. Okay, it's not letting me do anything. Could this have been used to keep oh. the power on? I need to keep this together with any other evidence I find. Can't tell 
what that really is. Are those like... It looks like zip ties. But it's broken, I think. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Oh, crap. What I... Okay. Alright. So, this is high power. Then it goes off. And... Then it goes to low. Then it goes to high. Okay. And then whatever's around it changes. So that okay, so it changes everything up to the right and down below it. Oh crap, I might already have this. Hold on. Hold on. I think I almost got it. That's off. <laughs> nice awesome. work. Now get out. Who uh, are you? What just happened? If the grid had gone critical, we'd all be dead right now. Yeah. I'm gray. I don't care who you are. Don't tell me. Oh. Get out! What a jerk! I'm great. I don't care who you are. Oh. Ooh, that just grinds me. It's teeth. locked. Oh, and I can't go. Ooh. I need a card to get in the lab. Hmm. I need a card. Ooh, that gray makes me mad. Let's go see if we can find you. Let's see him. Head of security. Full power. In five charges, when fully powered, stations send out additional charges in all directions. Ooh. Cool. Ah, <laughs> look, it's Schrodinger's cat. He's alive, everyone. No, that cat is dead. I don't care if theoretically or by... I don't care. There, if I don't care about that whole thing. Oh yeah, well he's both of a because you don't know because you didn't see it. Yeah, yeah, and you can't hear trees fall, or you don't know if trees make a sound if you're not there to hear it. You know, whatever. But we've already proven some of these things, so I think that logic is a little stupid. But I think that's neat that Schrodinger's cat is oh, there. They showed you the cat, which is pretty funny, because you're not supposed to see. It defeats the whole purpose. Okay, let's talk to Gray. But, you know, before we talk to Gray, I'm going to cut off the video. And I really do hope you guys watch the next video, where um, we get to interrogate and find out what, um, why Gray is so grumpy and mean, and why he won't retire. So... Thanks for watching. See you next time in Nancy Drew and Deadly Device. Thanks for watching.